Speaking for the Trees, no matter where they're from, the podcast. I think the typical way of thinking about intelligence is that it's like a human characteristic. And then if if you want to say that any other being is intelligent, then it, the burden of proof is on you to prove it. You know, I guess for me, I'm thinking that every living being including bacteria and microorganisms, they're all intelligent because like you pointed out, every being is sensing a variety of different things, light, sound, temperature, you know, moisture, all these different things, but, but they're integrating it. They're not like just giving like a, a, a rote response. It's not like, because they couldn't, it couldn't function that way. They have to be able to balance the fact that, okay, you know, there's more water in this direction, but then there's more light in the other direction. And actually right. there's like a lawnmower that comes over and cuts us down at, at seven inches. And then there's a bunch of insect pests. So they have to like figure out how to do all that. And, and every organism, whether it's an amoeba or a plant or a person or an animal, whatever, has to be able to integrate it. So there, I would say, you know, every every living being is is intelligent. And it does get at this whole issue about anthropocentrism, you know, looking at everything from a human perspective, where we're the center of the universe, and then everything is like important as it relates to us. And I would say that we're, I, I guess I see it as a more horizontal type of a way of looking at all the living beings is that they're all like equally advanced, they're all like equally important. And, and that they all, therefore, they're, they're like pe beings that we need to be uh, connecting with respectfully. So, but I think that you're right. The, the research that's been done on plant intelligence and plant sensing is good. You know, I, I, one, one flaw in a way is thinking that just because we realize that plants are sensitive or intelligent or even conscious, that we're going to treat them well because we do not yet treat humans well, as you can right. read from the news every day. So, mm -hmm. so it's not like a guarantee. It's, an, it's a nice step towards a more respectful way of being but i think that it it won't help enough because even with farm animals on farms people understand that they're suffering that they're in bad conditions and they're still doing it so it's just having the raw understanding is not going to be enough but it does help to make the case and it does raise the ethical stakes and uh it makes it a more complex thing and so i, I think it pushes people in the right direction